she never wanted this. The heartbreaks, the sorrow, the pain. He did all he could to make her happy. But it wasn't enough. She wanted to be happy, but this time with a new man. He tried to take it positively, but there was no denying that what they once had was now gone. Arguments never seem to end. What was once home is now just a house, and even the house is gloomy. Suddenly, there was a knock on the door. She stood up to answer it, and when she opened the door, there stood a stranger to greet her. She greeted her concubine with a smile. Her husband quietly explained that he ordered a concubine for her, just to make her happy. And with that, her husband stood up and left to buy food. Before she knew it, it was just her and her concubine left. He gave her a gift and she loved it. They were just starting to get to know each other when... One morning, she felt sick. She was nauseous and suddenly she ran to the bathroom to vomit. The concubine was there to take care of her while she was sick. This was a sign of what the future had in store for them. Years after, he started getting sick. And then... She was in despair when her concubine died. During her time of grief, her real husband began to feel sick as well. As they were visiting the concubine's grave, his chest began to tighten, and the next thing she knew, he was on the ground as well. Months after the death of her loved ones, she was back home. As she was washing the dishes, memories of both her men started flooding back. Her son came in the room to comfort her. As the child grew up, he did his best in school. He wanted to give his mother joy, despite her grief. One school day, he stood up from his seat in the classroom to go to the washroom.
as he was washing his hands. To his surprise, he couldn't seem to take his eyes off the man. As he was discovering more things about himself, he started realizing more and more about who he really was. He found himself wearing a dress one day. In his confusion, he tried to look for answers. Throughout the years, he has secretly been visiting a fish who would come to his skull every time he called. But before he could let everything out, his mother called. Something happened. The soul has no gender, and thus he lived that way. Over the years, he realized that the life he was living was a lie, and that what his mother told him that he was a boy was not true. In fact, he was a she, and so she refused to swallow all the lies she was fed all her years. She turned her back on everything she once knew, and embraced herself for who she was.